Hi everybody, it's Toddzilla again here with Joe's Auto War Clan. Uh, last video that we had regarding our wars actually was prior to the big update. And you can see we did lose one there. We had a 30 war win streak going before that matchup. We were severely outclassed in that. Those people had near maxed out Town Hall 9 Royals and stuff. They just steamrolled over us. We lost by three there. And um, the match system, I guess, since the update is probably going to have another video to come out once we kind of find how well that works. The first one, we completely steamrolled our opponent, so that one didn't seem to be too fairly matched. But the last one we had came down to the wire, and you can see the percentage-wise, very close. And we edged them out by one star. It's very close war, very good clan. I ended up getting this war, which hasn't happened in probably three months at my particular base, so this client definitely knew what they were doing, uh, very close. So we might have a video on the uh, the war, because they, they modified how they look for uh, clans in the war. So we might do a, a video highlighting that once we go through more wars and see if it's you know something that's a little bit more balanced than it used to be. I uh, just highlight two attacks that I did and one that Cypher did that were three stars that are Town Hall 9. Uh, I believe Jesse might be doing some later on his attacks on three and four there, which were right at the last minute for us to win the game. But I'm just going to highlight five and seven. Uh, these were pretty common troop uh, compositions since the update. So it's kind of a Govaho where you use a couple golems, you know, roughly 10 Valkyries and some hogs in there to take care of the defenses. And your whole objective is basically take out that queen, um, use a jump spell to get into the core, and then either two heals on your hogs or one heal on the kill crew as it's going in, which would be your Valks and your Royals and potentially some wizards that are going in there. Uh, we'll take a peek at Cypher's attack. You can see here... Replay ends in three minutes. So he's cutting it kind of close. I believe he starts up there. So we had three seconds to spare on this attack. I'm just gonna fast forward this. It's more of a CC pull than anything. Gets rid of that cannon. Pulls the clan castle. And you can see a strategy now with the new poisons. He pulls them all the way through there. They do go slower through the poison. I believe he does clip off the balloon. And then the dragon there only has about half health so very interesting strategy on the clan castle you'll see on my three star attack I, I didn't have any strategy I just was going to go and kill whatever was in there um, I had seen beforehand that some of the town hall nines were just doing uh, lava hounds in their clan castle so I wasn't too scared about a dragon coming out and doing a lot of damage the jump spell is very nice uh, to get into the core with those Valks. Unfortunately, this base had easy pathing all the way around, so you can see his Valks actually went all the way to the outside, and then he does a, you know, almost a surgical hog to come in, get rid of all the defensive buildings there on that side, considering there's no real threat of even a single giant bomb, uh, the way his hogs were going to pass. So it was a very nice strategy for his hogs there. Uh, he decided to use his heals. Uh, solely on his hogs there. Triggers a double bomb in the inside and loses uh, a significant amount of his hogs, but the final heal there can, you know, get most of those afterwards. And you can see that his Valkyries are still going strong on the outside. They just cleared out everything all around the edge as they're going. Um, the hogs took out the last few things there with the Archer Queen. I believe the the expo is the last one there, and you can see from there it's kind of clean up city. I'm gonna fast forward as you saw in the beginning of the <laughs> attack here. He only had three seconds to spare, so you can see a single hog in there doing work. And if that wasn't in there, taking a chunk off of that town hall, I don't know if he three stars, but yeah, it was a very interesting attack. Uh, I did get three stars on there. Uh, you can see it wasn't super clean. We're not that type of clan. 
we don't just completely steamroll over bases and we don't see bases that are, you know, outrageously creative or anything. More of your average clan that, you know, if you're going to want to watch three star videos on how average people get three stars like us, you're going to see more sloppy, you know, three stars from us than you're going to see from potentially like a, a power bang or a one hive raid or anything like that. Uh, here's my attack. My whole strategy on this was to come in over here with my kill squad and then use a jump basically on this wall to get into the archer queen and the barb king to get rid of those right away. And I was planning on using a heal in there. I used the 10 Valkyries, 14 hogs, 9 wizards, just two wall breakers just to get in there. That's all I needed. And then uh, from there, I was just going to sprinkle in my hogs to take her to the defensive buildings and hopefully the Valkyries would you know focus on the middle and I'd be healing through those. And as I said before I wasn't too concerned about the CC so I didn't waste any time and it's here to get the three star so I throw down the wizards to funnel get my royals down there to clear out the middle brush essentially and then throw my Valkyries in and just watch these Valkyries with the new buff. I throw that jump down. They completely delete that Archer Queen and that Barb King off the map. And it's a matter of maybe three quarters of a second to get rid of that high HP Expo. They completely demolish after this new update. You can see there they take care of the Town Hall fairly quickly. Even though a lot of them are going down uh, quick in there. They did nerf them 200 hit points at the very beginning. And I believe they realized how strong they were. <laughs> and you can see there's another not clean attack. There was a heal just hanging out there that was completely useless. But yeah, as I was saying on those Valkyries, they took a 200 hit point debuff on the new update. And after that, 100 hit points just because they were so powerful. But you can see there my hogs died out at the very end. And now it's just kind of a a golem going around tanking up any of the other defensive units while my archer queen and I have a couple wizards sprinkled in there to try and get rid of some of the buildings to prevent my queen from you know focusing outside and try to get those defensive units. So that was a another Gobaho strategy which is becoming very strong since the update. Those Valkyries do a lot of damage. And if you can get a jump spell to get into the core, they completely just crush everything in there. So if you have a base that you're running now at Town Hall 9 that's got a lot of items in the core, perhaps I see a lot of people run four Teslas in the Town Hall in the core, and maybe your crossbows and your royals are in there as well. I see people really pack stuff in there. Now with this update, Anybody that runs this Govaho uh, strategy is going to completely obliterate your base if they're smart enough to, you know, use a jump to get in there. So uh, just be aware of that now. It's a very strong attack. You can see both Cypher and I use the 10, 10 Valkyries and uh, 14 Hogs. Three stars. They by no means were crisp and clean, but uh, it is a strategy now since the new update came out that seems to be pretty strong. Uh, we'll see if they update anything else in the future, you know, with the Valkyries, because that that swing buff and the damage buff that they got is is really powerful. Um, stay tuned for more videos. If you like this, please actually like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. It's Joe's Auto War Clan. Just hit the subscribe button at the bottom. We do tend to release at least one video highlighting some three-star attacks every war. Town Hall 9 clan now. We do still have Town Hall 8's that war and our last two that we've done we included a bunch of the Town Hall 8's that aren't playing as often so uh, I'll probably try to get a video done here as well but thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please subscribe to Joe's Auto War Clan. As I said we're not super crisp. We're not super clean. We're just average guys but we do, get, we do have success uh, getting three stars at Town Hall 9. And as many, as, as many of you probably know, 
when you're a mainly Town Hall 9, Town Hall 8 clan, those three stars at Town Hall 9 are what win you most of those wars. So these videos, even though they're not crisp and clean, you can get an idea of how to attack them, how average people are able to get three stars using normal troop compositions and normal, you know, nothing that's too fancy for uh, an attack strategy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Have a great Easter. Thanks, everybody.